this is Sachi from Kidroy Hester's and I will be doing Discover with Dr. Cool and they're, they're um, little mini dig kits. So there's a real bug one, a fossil one, a shark mini dig kit, a gemstone mini dig kit, and a treasure mini dig kit. And for the shark, it's not like an actual shark that they put in there because it wouldn't fit in there and that'd be kind of safety hazard. <laughs> it's just a tooth. And um, I'm so happy because they also gave us three extras that we will be putting in a giveaway. So it will last 30 days. And in order to enter, you have to sub be subscribed to our channel, like this video, and click um, the link right here. Or you can go down in the description box and click the link down there. So, and um. We will notify you if you win by email and you can pick which one you want. There's a fossil mini dig kit, gemstone mini dig kit, and a shark mini dig kit. So. All right guys, so let's be archeologists and start digging. So here we are with the real bug mini dig kit. And on the back it says dig out one of these specimens, scorpion, spiny spider, or fortune beetle. And on the side, there's the instructions. It says, place your digging brick down on newspaper, or you can just use this paper. Use the digging tool to find the real specimen. Rinse the specimen in water. And then last, it says, learn about your specimen from the information inside. So, here we go. I'm going to open this. So here we got this little, it looks like this is used to like chip off pieces, so then you can go and to dig it out. And then this one looks like a little brush. I wonder what that's for. And here we have the little information guide. And let's take this out. Do, do, do. So we have the little thing that we can dig. So let's show us this. Okay, here, now let's pull off the packaging. Ooh, I wonder what specimen I'll get. This is gonna be so exciting. I think, I like hope that I get something really cool, like maybe like the spiny spider or something. Okay, so here it is. And here, let's get this. Now we're going to open up our little tools so then we can dig it out. So, here we have this. I think it's used to like pick it out. Now let's try picking. Whoa, this is pretty easy to come off. There's that. Pick, 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 pick. <laughs> Whoa. Or she could just go like this and then go boom, 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 boom. Whoa, the pieces of spider are coming off, like the spider decoration. It's cool. Stab the spider. We're chipping the spider. Oh my gosh, no. So here's a couple of facts about the spiny spider and I'm gonna wash it off. So it is also known as the Gasterocantha hasselti and it is a native of Asia and is usually found between India and Indonesia. And it says, these spiders vary greatly in color, shape and size measuring between two millimeters and 30 millimeters. They have eight eyes arranged into two horizontal rows of four eyes each, whoa. And here it is all cleaned off. The spiny spider from the Do Discover with Dr. Cool Real Bug Dig Kit. And it's really cool. And next we will be doing the shark mini dig kit and Yumi's going to do it for me. Yay! 
Hi, it is I, Yumi, and I will be opening up the Shark Mini Dig Kit. Pretty awesome. And it says, dig out one of these specimens, or, or genuine specimen, and then on the back, there's the different ones you can get. And I will read them now. There's the Otidus Shark, or no, the Otidus Shark, the Crow Shark, and the Sand Tiger, which all look pretty awesome. These, I mean, how cool is that look? You can dig out a shark tooth. Who else can say that? I dug out a shark tooth, guys. And it's rated six and older by Discover with Dr. Cool. Let's get opening. <laughs> Dramatic music. Okay. Uh, come out. So we have a pick and a brush right here. The, oh my gosh. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. It is a shark bursting out of the water. The water is the base of it. And then the shark is, well, the uppermost part of it, which look at that. Wow. That is awesome, guys. This is probably my favorite. Well, right now I haven't opened up the rest, but this is, yeah. So here, Shark Mini Dig Kit. And inside, it tells about the different sharks that you could possibly, well not sharks, as Sachi has mentioned, but the shark tooth that you could get. Here's the shark. I don't know guys, should I break apart the ocean base first or its head? You know what, let's chop off the fin. I'm sorry. <gasps> and... So here is the fossil, well, tooth fossil, which I have gotten, and it is the crow shark, which just happens to be extinct. What? So um, the crow shark was a formidable shark that lived throughout the entire Cretaceous period, but then became extinct. What? <laughs> and whoa, my gosh. Judging from the size of the largest known teeth, scientists estimate that this shark grew to be 10 to 15 feet long. <gasps> Gasp! And the teeth from them resemble those of modern tiger shark. So, whoa. Apparently it was a scavenger as well. Oh my goodness, crow sharks, you are just full of surprises. And up next we have the fossil mini dig kit. And it says, dig out one of these specimens. And there is the brachiopod, clam, and the gastropod. That is what they look like. And it's pretty awesome. So let's get up along. <laughs> oh my, well that came out fast. It is the pick and then the brush. So you can brush off stuff on the actual physical thing so you don't damage it. Whoa, my goodness. Wow, that is awesome. You are now officially one of my favorite rocks. Goodness inside, but it'll be all worth it. Oh my goodness. Oh. I just took off your eye. What have I done? <gasps> well, I'm going to be picking you apart anyway, so I guess it's goodbye to you then. Okay, got the pick. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna get breaking apart at this guy. Well, I don't even know if you're a guy or a girl, but this creature. So I, I'm going to wash it now. And if I look at the box, I think I got a brachiopod. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a brachiopod. <laughs> there, brachiopod. Whoa, this looks really cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is awesome. 
And then that is that one right next to it. There you go. Wait, there. There, I can see it better. So, now we shall move on to the next one, which will be the Gemstone Mini Day Kit. And here is the Gemstone Mini Day Kit. Look at that, oh my goodness. And it says dig out one of these specimens. Quartz crystal, rose quartz, or amethyst, which all look pretty awesome. So, I'm excited to see which one I get. Oh. So I'm gonna open it. And dig for a genuine one, so. Very excited, oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Oh. <gasps> and just to point out quickly, all of them come with this, but yeah. Just to point out, in case you're like, what? But yeah. <laughs> then it comes with the chippy wood thingy. <laughs> and this brush. Do, 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 do. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> I don't know what I'd like to do. I'm gonna start on you. So I got the amethyst, or not amethyst, rose quartz. Rose quartz, their name, I don't know. Like I just keep confusing them. Why, why must you, I don't know, remind me of an amethyst somehow in a strange way. But now I'm going to drop it in the water. Oh my. And oh my goodness. Unlike most varieties of quartz, this unusual pink stone only rarely displays well-formed crystals. Mineralologists do not completely understand the source of the rose quartz highly prized pink color, but many believe it comes from iron, titanium, and manganese impurities within the stone. Oh, science effects. <laughs> and I think it should be about clean. And uh, give me a second. <laughs> it's beautiful now. It's so shiny. There you go. Hello camera, look at this, look at this, it's so awesome. And up next, I will be doing the treasure mini dig kit. So here we have the treasure mini dig kit. There you go, treasure chest. And as I said, they each have a genuine specimen and this is by Discovered Dr. Cool, once again, and for ages six and older. I'm sorry, five-year-olds. And so um, you can get pyrite, also known as fool's gold, Aragonite, I hope I pronounced that right, but it looks really cool. Then Tiger's Eye. There you go, they look awesome. So I'm going to open it. And then a treasure chest. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, that is pretty awesome actually. I'm going to start picking away at this treasure chest. I'm gonna pick the lock, guys. Well, that came off nicely. Oh my, here, I'm gonna chip off a little. Do, 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 do. I'm so sorry. Here it is. I'm going to drop it in water. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 do. I'm cleaning off a tiger's eye. And it's a tiger's eye. In case you notice that right there. Yeah. And almost done cleaning a tiger's eye. Whoa, a tiger's eye. If like, imagine you, like your friend calls you and you're just like, oh, I'm cleaning a tiger's eye. And they're like, what? Cause they didn't know what you're doing. That'd be so cool. I should do that right now. Then again. Okay, here it is. So very shiny. And tiger's eye. This stone was worn to battle by Roman soldiers to provide protection from the enemy. 
associated with practicality, intelligence, and clear thinking. Many people believe that it helps provide financial sta- uh, stability and is good for people in business. Boom! This little rock, well, not rock exactly, but ah, can do all those amazing things. Is that special? Yes, that's, that's me, guys. Yay! I hope you enjoyed us watching the, uh, us open these five cool mini day kits. It was very exciting. And make sure to check out our next video where we'll be doing Glow in the Dark Slide. And make sure that if you want to enter into our giveaway, then just go into the description box below and click on the link there. And it will say all the instructions to enter. And thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.